going on guys? Waydax98 here, and I got something really cr uh, great to show you guys. I finally find me, found me another raid. Bye. And I got this thing where I can get it. I did, I'm not going to DC or anything. Hold me to that, Spencer. Mm. Mm. Just by the way, we're, uh, this is after Saturday night stream, so... YOLO. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! Um. I don't know if I have enough Pokeball for this. I think of what. What could take it out? What can hit it? And went away to chicken dinner. What's going on, guys? Waytax98 here with a uh, little bit of just a filler video. I'm going to probably be trying to uh, do a little grinding. I'm going to do a little bit more exploring like I did in a couple of the streams. Uh, this is going to be the second part of that last uh, of today's video. I already know because I, I recorded after the stream on Saturday. I recorded a little bit with. Uh, me catching that Raylu, which I'll be leveling up soon enough. Uh, he's just not going to be doing, he's not going to help me much on in the way of uh, Pokemon and, uh, well, in the way of fighting this next gym. So I'm going to try to level up my main guys right now and, uh, and maybe try and get him ready for the poison gym, which. He should be really good for the poison gym, being that he, once he's evolved into Lucario, he is Im completely immune. Um, I could be... Why is there so many pigs over here? I could try and... Uh, well, he does resist Psychic with the Steel Typing, but I'm not really wanting to risk it. I was kind of hoping that I'd find some new chunks over here. Uh, where I was just at is actually, I'm guessing where Victory Road's going to be. I'm guessing that's what they're going to do. It's right past, um, Gold, uh, not, it's, uh, the normal gym city, and it's just this house is by dude, Kipsters, a dude on here. Uh, so, it looks like I made time out. My chat's going silent. That's not ever a good sign. Never, ever a good sign. Well, actually, my chunks are still loading. I don't know why. Maybe it's just going so. <sighs> but yeah, guys, um, I really don't have much to talk about uh, right now other than uh, I'm having so much of a pain trying to keep Camden's uh, Civ Rev episodes up uh, without copyright claims because people just like claiming stuff from the... the the in-game audio, which is just a pain in the butt, I swear. So, I've been working to trying to keep that out there, and now i got to start editing. Uh, i got to edit the other one for Thursday. i got to take his part two and see if I can remove the background music and stuff. So, that was all. That's going to be a... Uh, be a project. I'm hoping, hopefully, being able to do it in one of my programs, either Audio City or Camtasia. Is that a fossil? That is a fossil. Yes, it is. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Actually, what I could do is get to get an old amber. Oh, you don't have permission. I see how it is. Oh, there's another one over there too. You are a sly son of a gun. I can tell you that. Just damn it. Oh. Wow. What I need is another old amber. I've only found one of those out of all the fossils that I have. An old amber seat. I've only found one, so. Looking forward to that. Looking forward. Talking about fossils and the old amber, I might as well get into the mega evolute. Uh, me get into fossils. Everyone's calling for fossil Pokemon to get primal forms. Which I can tell you right now is one's not gonna happen, and two 
because of Aerodactyl. And three, there's a common misconception that um, Mega Evolution is just pretty much a powered up uh, Mega Evolution. And that's actually not true. Primal Evolution is basically for Groudon and Kyogre because of. Uh, can I, am I going to be able to grab this one? No, I can't. Okay, still moving then. Uh, because they got their power from the two. Uh, from the, the create. Because the, there was so much energy due to the creation of. Uh, uh, water and the, the oceans and the uh, ground, lands, and whatever I'm trying, what I'm trying to say. And it basically caused uh, them to start absorbing them. And when it absorbed their, its energy, and once they were able to condense that energy down into this new form, Everyone's thinking, oh, Dioga's getting one, or why didn't Giratina, not Giratina, Rayquaza get one, because they didn't get that. Um, Dialga may get a primal form, along with uh, Palkia, because they kind of, kind of could say that they are the, they created the time and space, making them needed for, like, that's, that's how they got theirs, is from, like, their, the, when when creating it, the overflow of energy caused them to go primal, timed out, and or they could always just say that, oh, you are kidding me. Don't, don't do this. Don't. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I was on the thing of primal evolution now. Uh, talking about Dialga and Polka, you could give them primal forms, but I could see them giving them something a little bit different, calling it something less primal and more <sighs> dimension forms. And, and it's, I'll get, get I'll think, talk about that in just a second. But um, actually, talk about it now. I can uh, Dialga and Polka are actually never seen. Uh, in the forms that they are in when they're in their dimensions being that they're in their space dimension or in their uh, the, the space dimension or the time dimension meaning they could use that form at a different point like they could have it at a different uh, It could be a, a completely different form, maybe a more powerful form, because that's where they're uh, from and all that. And I, I just thought that might be a bit of a better uh, idea than going primal again, because it's because you've already done primal. Come on, Goku. Oh my God! God damn it, Goku! There we go. There we go. Mega Pumpkin's finally not 45 anymore. Um, you. Summary. Yes, okay. So, as I was. Uh, so, I think that would be a bit of a better idea than just giving them primals and being like, hey, here you go. It's kind of just it's kind of what you expected. Which way was that going? That's a very good question. Um, I think it was going north. I think. Let's uh, pop up a little bit, see if we can see. Um, I actually can't. Uh, that almost looks farther, whatever. Well, whatever. Let's go north. So, as I was saying, um, we, uh, so I can see them doing something like that. And maybe giving Giratina 
an original form, being that Garatina, uh, is, is different in his two forms. He could have a third form or a stronger form, being that he did, okay, I was going north, haha! <laughs> Being that, or uh, uh, give him like an original form, like a, f uh, a form where he reverts to his original godly power, I guess you could say, give him stronger stats, make him more of a threat to Arceus, and that's why he banished him, uh, yada, 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 and stuff like that. So, I think that would be a pretty nice, uh, uh, pretty nice uh, thing to do with the, the uh, creation trio. Or maybe even give uh, Giratina a reason to be around. Like, all we know Giratina as is the the guardian of distortion realm. And that was just because, um, uh, G G Arceus, uh, banned him. So, basically, right now all we know is that he was banished to the distortion world. Meaning, but Arceus, at the time that those guys were around, Arceus was creating Pokemon to create things like he did Dialga and Polkia. So he wouldn't have created Giratina for no reason at all. So I really think they should try and uh, give Arce I mean, G Giratina a, r a reason to be around. This is going to piss me off. This is going to really get my... Get <sighs> all the cool stuff. All the good stuff in areas where I can't get it. Oh well. Um, and give him something. Give him a reason. Give him a, a chance. Because Giratina right now is pretty much looked down upon in in a lot of places, especially Tyrion. I think he's actually one of his forms are, is an Ubers, but the other form is not, which it just doesn't seem right. Giratina is feared enough by Arceus to send him to the distortion world. So you gotta give him something that makes him more feared. With the introduction of all these new really powerful Megas and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, you gotta give these legendaries who are supposedly more powerful or have have power beyond anything you could imagine. Uh gotta give them something. They're not that why would a Mega Pokemon, well, you can kind of say Mega Pokemon never really um, existed back later on, so the, the Legendaries never had a reason to, but I'm sure there wasn't, like, no uh, Mega Pokemon. I'm sure at one point a Pokemon and a, a Pokemon and it, it, someone, like a, a follower or somebody that uh, had befriended that Pokemon. Uh, created the bond and what just happened to have a mega stone at some point or find a, a stone that reacted with that Pokemon so you never know that could have happened and knowing this power the legendaries could have searched for a way to replicate this without the need of a human so that's because you think about it primal dialga and polky not dialga and polky giratina not giratina uh, yeah, whatever. Kyogre and Groudon, they're primals because they didn't use the bond between them, them themselves and a uh, human and it was a Megastone to bring that to them. So they, they, uh, they, uh, just just happen that way. That they absorb power to reach this one. That's one reason why it's not very uh, different than any other, di different than their normal form. I see. So that's it's that's always a thing you gotta think about. Um, Rayquaza. The reason he had a, a mega form is because he, act if you read the lore behind it, he actually um, absorb. He actually became a mega through his bond with the people of Hoenn who were called upon him as a protector since he uh, 
he was seen as the protector of Hoenn, and Groudon and Kyogre were about to destroy the freaking world fighting each other, and, but Rayquaza didn't have the power to beat him because they were in their primals. So Mega Rayquaza was around. It became a thing because of this specific, specific stone that he fought, uh, he, that was a, like, uh, I guess you'd say, like, was worshipped by the people of Hoenn. So, no matter what, you got kind of a weird thing going. You got kind of a cool uh, story behind that. And, that's, and, and it gives you kind of speculation later on. The only other Pokemon that I could kind of... Oh, I can't break for the news. I can't... I, I can see the maybe a bit... Uh, maybe get a Primal? Maybe. Is... Reggie Gigas, being that he his, he is supposed to be asleep, he was asleep for all of his life, I guess you say. Uh, well, for a long time because he was banished, but he could still have they could revert him back to the form when he um fought, uh, not fought he uh, moved the continents and stuff like that, and that that could be kind of a connection with in some way to crowd on or something because of uh, them both being kind of land based but you gotta think about it oh, what is this um we never really got the f like like we said before we never really got the power of Reggie Gigas he was always Kind of at. Man, just, oh, God, I did twelve. He created a freaking box around his whole house. Um, we we never really saw that. We never really saw it at all. So, um, Ray Gigas was is actually very powerful in his normal form, but the power that he does have is very deterred by his ability, which is slow start. So. I see them maybe doing something, probably doing something different. If I were them, I'd do something to something different. But I'm not. I'm not game freak. We're talking about the people that gave Slowbro shell armor and freaking inner focus to freaking Mega Galade when they could give him like. Well, now that looking at his stats, I can kind of see the inner focus reasoning. But instead, I would actually like Defiant. I think that would be pretty good. Being that you you really don't want to lose your uh, 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 your attack at any point, so I could see that being a uh, a very reasonable thing to go for. But inner focus is okay in my opinion. Corbin absolutely hates it, but. It's just, it's just that he, unless it's a, compet a really good competitive ability, you're already like doing good damage. So you're, you're there. I guess you could say you, you have it uh, ready. Oh wait for that. Hmm, sorry guys. Um. Uh. Also. I'm, I am going to say this. I talked. We talked about it in yesterday's uh, speculation video. Mega Skeptile. They want, didn't want him to lose speed. Why didn't they just make him a Galactic Grass type? I don't know. I just why? Because if you think about it, Electric's two weaknesses. So one weakness is neutralized by Grass. Um, and then. Along with that, you have all these different, uh, and I don't remember, electric, I think gets rid of, what does electric resist? I think electric, does electric resist flying? I think it does. So, that's, that helps. Uh, doesn't resist ice, doesn't resist bug, Duh, I don't think it resists fire. I sure don't think it resists, um, Uh, I 
don't, I'm pretty sure it doesn't assist. What was this last one? I don't know the last one. But it would be a new thing. That's the first electric type you've ever seen, and you really can't paralyze that because he is what you'll say. The main way they would, mainly the way that you get paralyzed is through static and or um, thunder wave, which thunder wave is very common. So I would, so thunder wave is completely, Im he's completely immune to thunder wave this electric type. So. So that, that is just. I don't understand. I, I just don't. I just don't. But they chose Dragon and Lightning Rod, although dra Lightning Rod really does not help him much, other than that lack of being able to be paralyzed. And it, it just does not seem right that he got something like that. And Swampert and Blaze getting got speed boost and switch swim. It, it just doesn't seem fair. The Skeptile is a lot of people's favorites. A lot. And I mean a lot. So just it just it's, to me it just doesn't make sense. Blaze was cool and all. Swampert was really cool being the first water ground type. And with its new defenses, oh I think it's gonna be scary in later on in later games, but I, I just I just don't see Skeptile being or later on in meta game I should say I just don't see Skeptile being a threat because of its lack of good typing and good uh, uh, ability. That's not a competitive ability. You barely see you rarely see the lightning rod, and if you do, it's usually in UU. But there's nothing we can do about it. It's that it, it's not set in stone. But I really don't see um, Game Freak changing it. What I could see them doing is creating a dual uh, a dual Mega Evolution. Wait. Okay, give me a second, guys. Wait, too. Wait, I thought I was gone. No, we're leaving at 7:30. I thought you guys were at uh, leaving at 7.30. Uh, they're going ahead and go. Okay. Okay. them giving him a second uh, Pokemon, so a second a Mega Evolution, giving him more of a physical maybe. I'd like that. Give him a physical maybe. Something like that. Talking going on. Still going to talk about Megas, but I want to go on to the Megas. Um, Mega uh, Torterra is the one I'm really looking forward to. I talked about him a lot in my Diamond Let's Play because Twiggy did beat a comp that was higher level because he's a boss. Uh he's a boss. But you look at what uh, Terra was kind of a failed attempt at being a really, really good Pokemon. The grass ground type is decent. Uh although you do have the weakness to ice, which I could see them fixing with the Mega Evolution and or uh, 
fixing up his stats a bit. He's actually not that strong when it comes to stats, and I really don't like it. So, Torterra, uh, they really could. He could really use a bit of some more bulk because he is the, the defensive one of all the Mega Evolutions. Not the Mega. Uh, the si what the heck just happened? Oh, please don't tell me this is blocked. So, he is the defensive one of all three of the Megas, so, all three of the Sino starters, so I could see them going defensive. Uh, he deserves to go defensive, but they really need to change where he's more maybe of a physical attacker instead of a special attacker, because his special stat is, m his special attack is good, but too good for, his abil for him himself. Because if you look at it, he is, um... He's got so many earthquake, rock poly, uh, rock, uh, rock type moves, uh, wood hammers. G give him something. Just give him something. Either give him some more special. What the heck is that? Give him like s something really, really good, or just or give him some change in moves, or give give him a switch to some better. Uh, actually, no. Am I thinking this wrong? I think he may be better special, but he has too many good physical moves. Maybe. Maybe. Don't know what I'll have. I can't think of it. Switch over to the... Raptor. Sorry, I hit with a body slam. See if he should practically kill this thing. Yep. Tag on, Jesus. And dead. As far as it's pretty now. Okay. Well. That happened and, uh, yeah. I, I really don't know what else I could say about Mega uh, Torterra. Mega Torterra just needs to happen. He is such a good Pokemon and can be so much better. Uh, Grass ground isn't that good, but if you made him, uh, I don't know, grass rock, which is a real, really good typing, I could see him being a threat in even OU, if not got moved up to OU, so. Because the only grass rock type right now is Cradilly, and Cradilly I'm pretty sure is in UU right now, which is not bad, but, <gasps> turn it out. Hello, little buddy. Hey, yo. Hey. Hi. Hello, little buddy. Come here. Come here, little boy. Where you going, little boy? Quick attack at the trash go. Would it? I don't think it ever does anything, actually. Failed, yep. Leer, drop my defense bag. Let's just throw a Pokeball at it, see, how, see if it catches. Um, I really... Give him a grass ground type and give, me, give him some good defenses. And maybe change up his physical special attack, whichever one it is. And makes him a very, very decent Pokemon. Uh, gives him a... Makes him a very, very decent Pokemon. So... That's all I gotta say about that. Infernape, there's not much you can really do with an Infernape. He has good stats, and he's very good later on. Broke out a bit, it. yep. Um, he's got very, he's got pretty good stats. Give him, I could see them giving him Technician. Being that he, he he's kind he's got pretty good moves that are lo below sixty so I could see I could see him doing that giving him technician uh oh my god getting all the credits on me right now I think there's a healing table right there keep endeavoring.
But Empoleon, I just found something I can't really see of a good idea for that. It just doesn't seem... I, I, I just can't think of one. Uh, Empoleon is a decent water steel type, one of the few water steel types, is the only, if not the only one. And not only that, it's a very good Pokemon to begin with. It's a, it's a decent Pokemon. It could use a boost to its special attack, maybe it give it a little bit more bulk, but make it a bit more all, all around. Call the tap to the dial, thank the lord. Thank the lord. Um, but I don't really see it being much else uh, other than just that uh, uh, just a regular Empoleon boosted a little bit so uh, you never know they may pull something completely different uh, maybe screw up his stats a bit I don't know you just don't know you just don't uh, you are fighting Goku because I'm pretty sure you're a flying gym a flying person Pidgey Effective. Ooh, wing attack. Ooh, not very good. Oh. Quick attack, didn't do much, got paralyzed. And that's so why I'm going first this coming turn. Got another Pidgeot. Goku's 38. Let's go for the power gem. Uh, quick attack. Crack hit, power gem, super effective. That does. Very quick attack. Power gem. Uh, do I have? Let's go. Let's go fairy some. Uh, pretty sure he can. Yeah, you can take whatever you deserve. Give it. Yes, beam. Right up to the pot. There we go. Do trio. Dynamite up to 40 and fairies up 38. Why did I go prime? I'm an idiot. Oof. That. Did quite a bit of damage. Oh, Pursuit, okay. Ice Beam, dead. Pidgey, a level 46 Pidgey. Pidgeot. Mega Pidgeot, no! Silly boost of speed, Ice Beam. Tackle, Ice Beam. Dynamax up 48, and Fairs up 39. Yeah, I don't need Psych because you're a physical attacker. Uh, oh. Oh, another Pidgey Ice Beam. Should be the last one. Mirror move. Yep, that's the last one. There we go. Let's head back over to this person's house real quick and, uh, heal up the two that I just got damaged a lot. Dynamite is almost there. I'm going for four more levels and he's up to Metagross. And then I'm pretty much ready for the fourth gym because he is just so powerful. Let's get Squirtle. The Squirtle! 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 I already got a really good Squirtle. He's not, not as powerful as... Ooh, Crowler! It's not as powerful as... Uh, I don't think it's very high level, but... There we go. I'm just kind of trying to focus there. Um, He's not as, oh, he's, he's kind of a mid-level Pokemon right now, but he's, uh, very, very good. I mean, like, really good. Okay, that one's up to 39. Um, Fairy and, Go Fairy and Goku are probably going to be my main guys to fight this next gem. Because, yo, whoa. What the fudge, Nugs? Okay, working out by wall. I can see it. I see. I see you guys. I see you guys. Uh, there's a little. Da 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 <sighs> Let's see, Mega Pump is 142. I don't really know what Mega Pump's gonna help with other than. Well, let's see, Dragon Strong against Dragon. So if there's a Dragon, uh, Elite Four member, or something like that, he becomes really good. 
uh, Ghost is kind of knocked out by it, so is, uh, Psychic. Ooh, I could bring him with, uh, me to, uh, to the Psychic Gym, because I got Crunch on him. So I go with Charmeleon, Brian. Fire. Still fine, it's my hand, just fire. Lab in center, hint. Get you down, cause you're the best around. And like, so I can't actually. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's a. Now, nah, dang it. Cause you're the best around. No one ever gonna get you down. That is the breeding block. Yeah, guys. I, I really don't know what else to say about this. Why can't I get... Am I, I seriously... Seriously? Seriously? There we go. I don't know. I just don't. But, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh my god, are you serious? Chicken farm. Oh, that is actually a really good idea. Collect all the eggs. What? What are eggs useful for? Yeah, Black Tower 97. Okay. Well, I might as well keep moving through here because there's nothing much here I can do because it's all under construction. Ah, Black Hero. Okay. An auction is beginning. Yeah, it doesn't really mean. Are you not at Oh, that entertains me much. Because you beat XP in for me. That sounded really weird. You be good XP. Yes, Bustos. Say your name. Yes. What is he, 40? Ah, oh, not bad. Rapid spin. Can't paralyze because of my static. Undershock him again. Rapid spin again. Protect. Protect it to something. Thundershock. And Thundershock. Go through 39. <laughs> Okay. So I'll just go down this, I guess. Oh, there's no stairwell. Oh, wow, well, what the? What the heck? I guess. Uh oh, whatever. Work up. Yeah, it's not the best. Yeah. Oh, spiel! It's a spiel! 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 Ah, spiel with it. That's why I'm doing my spiel when I get back. Just continue moving. This way, I guess. I guess I can go over some more mega, mega Pokemon if I really wanted to, like speculation on. Uh, sad Let's do a real quick kind of Pokemon that I'd like to see in the next, uh, in coming generation, next coming soon, soon. Um, Haxorus, and this probably this is probably it is probably a little bit biased because of Corbin, but I would like to see it because Haxorus was always kind of a Pokemon that belong pretty much could have belonged to a pseudo legendary family, and I was thought I always thought was a mega. 
part would have been a pseudo legendary, being that he's a dragon and he's a really good dragon at that. Um, but his defenses are not strong enough to take a good hit, so make him a steal. Boost his defenses up, boost his attack, and give him a. I don't know what you'd give him. Give him tough claws or something, along with making him a dragon steel type. I could see that. Something like that. Or. I don't know. Adaptability. <laughs> oh my god. Could you imagine a dragon with adaptability? That outrage. Oh my god. Stats from going from 1.5 to. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I can see it now. <laughs> I see another really good typing that they could have gone with Salamance is Fire Dragon with Levitate. That would have been decent for Salamance. Being that he only got two witnesses now, and that's Dragon and Rock. And it looks like I'm not loading any shocks. Oh, it just so happens there was a hole. It's just right there. Well, well I, I may end it off here, guys, because of it's not loading and kind of running out of things to talk about. I guess I can talk to you guys in the next episode. It just doesn't load. If I time out, I'll end the episode. And there I go. Well, talk to you guys next time.